Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a dynamic lead magnet. So we call these dynamic lead magnets because instead of traditionally giving somebody a instant download, like an ebook or training or webinar, which again, those are so great traditional ways to collect leads. Uh, uh, we've seen a lot of users pioneer what they're calling dopamine clicks, personalized lead magnet experiences. And it's basically a formized tool where you're collecting the data and you're sending all this data through a prompt and giving the end user a display of a AI output. In this case, I have a SWOT analysis tool. Uh, I'm gonna show you exactly the, the, the actual breakdown of this tool, the prompt, and how it looks like embedded on a landing page. So let's just say you're a business coach and you wanna build a quick little nifty tool like this where it's gonna generate a SWOT analysis and we're also collecting a email because one of the fields is a email field. So with the open questions, you're able to collect different types of information. Of course, this email is not gonna be used in the prompt, but I can collect this email. I can have my responses in the response tab. Uh, and I can also send the data here to a webhook, which we'll talk a little bit about later in just a minute. So let's go ahead and check this tool out and see what it looks like just on, embedded on a landing page. This is a good example. Again, this is just a quick landing page we uh, uh, we went ahead and whipped up. So. The Formize tool is embedded here. Again, we can remove Formize branding uh, if you'd like and customize this further. Um, again, so let's go ahead and try this. Let's just see what it looks like. I'm just gonna put uh, white label coffee company, white label coffee service for coffee shops. We offer white label branding for our coffee with beans and roasts that are exclusive exclusive to us to us and we'll go ahead and also our business goals um, add both uh, New York and New Jersey as markets can't spell today so and where where can we send the copy so this is the email we're collecting I'm just gonna put one of my emails in here I'm gonna go ahead and submit it and again this is gonna run it through my backend prompt and my user my my end user which which in this case would be somebody visiting the website and interacting with this tool giving me their email uh, in exchange for a instant response uh, lead magnet that is customized to their business customized to their goals, customized uniquely to the experience of the data they just provided your tool. So let's check out what the tool gives back here. Okay, so it looks like it spat out a quick SWOT analysis, white label branding, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So again, the end user can obviously copy this and get it um, and you just got a new email. So if we jump back into the actual tool, we look in the responses, live responses, I will see that I just got this new lead. Um, of course, this loom things in the way, but you can see my email down there. Um, now, if you wanna get this data into your CRM, we highly recommend a webhook. So if you use something like uh, Zapier or go high level workflow triggers with a inbound webhook, you can actually paste the URL there and we will not only send the response information, but we will also send you the AI output. And if you're prompt chaining, which is another feature we have, we will also send all the other AI responses as well for all your different prompt chain steps. So again, you you necessarily don't need to display results upon submission for a lead magnet. You also can re, uh, go ahead and redirect to a thank you page and then deliver the AI responses via a different format, maybe an email, maybe a text, maybe have it stored inside of a portal. Again, we can send that data to a webhook and you can customize that experience. Again, always remember to include a customer identifier like an email, phone number. That way you can create a contact in your CRM if you are sending this over and creating new contacts or new leads. So again, guys, this is a good example of a lead magnet. Again, this is a pretty big one. Um, and of course, the quality of, of the outputs are always... Um, are always influenced by the prompt on the back end. So if we jump in here, this is the actual prompt, perform a SWOT analysis for my business, focusing on its internal strengths and weaknesses, 
as well as external market opportunities and threats in the industry. Here's my competitive advantage. Here's my goals as a business. And I'm using the GPT-4 engine. Again, you can customize that in the other videos. Uh, again, guys, just want to share this quick use case with you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, just uh, comment and post on the Facebook group and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks.